Some people are dealing with lingering symptoms of COVID-19 much longer after they test negative. Doctors call this long COVID syndrome. New this morning, we reached out to experts to learn more about the research into this, the research going on into this. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott shows us the smartphone app that can help you track your symptoms while also helping doctors find answers. As experts continue to search for answers about how COVID-19 is affecting people, they're focusing their efforts on long COVID syndrome and the lingering effects of the virus. Some of it is people who are really just otherwise very healthy people who just haven't quite been able to recover fully yet. They are still having some decreased lung function and some decreased heart function. There's also been a substantial number of people that have reported feeling a little foggier, a little less clear and having some difficulty just thinking. Experts say so far the data shows that 15 to 20 percent of people who get COVID-19 have long-term symptoms. They tell us one of the only ways they're able to study this is by people reporting their symptoms. That's why at the beginning of the pandemic, a group of researchers, including Harvard medical professor Dr. Andrew Chan, created a free smartphone app called COVID Symptom Study so people could track how they're feeling. So this COVID Symptom Study app does allow people to basically input on a regular basis what symptoms they're experiencing. And so this has allowed us to understand what proportion of people are really starting to report these long-term symptoms that we think are long COVID. Chan says the data from this app is critical to understand COVID-19 more to help inform doctors and scientists so they can help people recover. With more than 4 million app users, Chan tells us they still need more people, especially in Florida, which is a hot spot for variants. And understanding more about the symptoms those variants can provoke and also understanding more about the risk those variants pose with respect to long COVID. Researchers are asking people to join the app study even if they don't have COVID-19 currently so they can understand who's at risk, who could develop COVID-19 down the road and different patterns in the community. We have more information for you up on abcactionnews.com. Reporting from Tampa, Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.